Hello, so I'm just gonna do a quick grocery haul for those of you who might be curious about what I'm getting for my new medical issues. Um, basically just trying to um, lower my cholesterol and then also try to reverse the anemia that I presently have. So I got some raspberries, cause fresh fruit. I also got some bananas. Try to get just more vitamins, more folate, um, more B12, that sort of thing. Um, I got chicken breast. I got some cilantro. I got some lemons because I'm gonna add some to my water. So just trying to get my body back on track. Scallions. I'm gonna make um, black bean soup. So I got a bunch of black beans. A bunch, a bunch. Um, I got green tea. Oh gosh, why did I get that? Because there was a good reason why I got that. There's something about the caffeine in it that takes iron out of your blood, which is apparently very good for my sort of um, breed, I guess, of anemia. Anyway, I got folate, folate, because um, that's supposed to help with um, the anemia. I got bergamot, because that helped me lower my cholesterol last time I needed to. And I got gas stuff, because obvious reasons, eating a ton of beans. But I got the receipt for all those supplements because who knows, they might not work. <laughs> but I have a doctor's appointment. Um, when, when is that? When do I have a doctor's appointment? Oh yeah, next week. I have a doctor's appointment. Well, it's a televisit just to address some of this stuff because I'm really tired of feeling this way. I got an onion. I got some cuties because we go through those like crazy. More beans. More beans. Why well, I got this. Okay. Um, so got some tuna because we go through tuna like crazy. Got some sardines too because all of that is supposed to be good for lowering your cholesterol. So got a what is this called? Red bell pepper. That's what it's called. Because I'm doing laundry. Celery. I got celery. Sorry for the lighting in here, by the way. I should have gotten a little light thingy. Um, vegetable broth. Got vegetable broth. I got a lot of stuff. Um, and then I got these, which I love. They're called snacking beans. They're lupini beans, I think. Um, and they are delicious and nutritious. So that is all that I got. And I'm about to start making the soup if I can find a pan that's big enough. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna make some black bean soup. That's what I'm doing now. And the recipe is like for six, so I'm just gonna cut the recipe in half. In with this pot and heat it up, put an onion, and then oh, oh, what else was I gonna do? Okay. Half of oh, half of a bell pepper as well. So we're just gonna add this, heat it up. And like I said, only making four servings. I thought I was gonna need all of those cans, but thankfully I don't. So just two cans of beans for this soup, um, which I'm kind of excited to make. I've never made like a bean soup from scratch before. Okay. Whoa. What the fuck? So there. Uh, uh, fuck. Anyway, um. You'll find that I definitely am socially awkward. I feel like it's a good thing. Oh man, this is not gonna be a big enough um, bowl, pot, whatever. Okay. okay. Next up, I have to add celery and some carrots. I don't know how much yet. Be a good thing to know. So it says one large carrot, but I just have mini baby carrots. So we're just going to pretend like those add up to one large carrot, which I'm sure they do in some form or fashion. You know what though is super interesting is the blood results definitely reflected something that I was worried about, which is that um, all, all the symptoms I've been experiencing, which I thought was just all anxiety, actually are very consistent with the 
sort of anemia that I have. I cannot remember the name for the life of me. It's like Mayo something. I'm just happy that I don't have diabetes on top of cholesterol and anemia. That's nice at least. Gotta count your blessings, right? So, oh, dropped another thing. To use the platform, even if it doesn't get a lot of attention. So, you know, that's why I'm doing it just for me, right? That's why you gotta do things that make you uncomfortable just for yourself, not for anyone else. You know, if I've learned one thing in my pretty few years of life, it's that. Haven't been. I'm putting away the bell pepper and the onion, and that's all. <laughs> really need to get a proper camera. Anyway, I feel like once you get over the initial embarrassment of putting yourself out there, it gets a little easier. Um, okay, so now I'm going to angle this so you guys can see better. Hopefully that stays. I'm going to put in, if I can find it. drain this one that might help but i'm really i'm playing with fire here i really got to be careful because she's getting cold I don't spill everywhere don't spill everywhere don't spill everywhere oh my god this is really just see i'm not a, i'm not a cook i'm not a cook though i'm not a cook though okay it's worrying me it's worrying me okay so 25 minutes of Praying that this doesn't boil over. I think during that time I'm gonna do the dishes because it's a mess in here. Especially after I made soup. It is extra messy in here. Um I also want to find out if my boyfriend wants it more of like a chunky soup or like a smooth soup. Because there's a big difference. I'm gonna have to blend it. My Vitamix that he got for me for Christmas. Um oh, also. Here it is. Pretty much almost boiling over. It's fine though. It is fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. God, please don't boil over. Please don't boil over. Okay, see if you talk to it, if you talk to it, it won't boil over. That's a fact. That's a fact. Okay. You get really nervous. Okay. Um, we'll update you when it's done. So don't mind the messy stovetop here, but problem solving 101, fixed it. Needless to say, that was concerning me and I felt the need to fix it. Now I'm going to go sit down and eat a banana or something, probably a banana. Oh man, what a long, it's been a long day. I am gonna be pureeing the soup be pureeing it in this Vitamix here and then I'm going to make some baked chicken breast because my boyfriend was like oh why don't you just put it in the, in the soup and I'm like that's weird and I'm not gonna put it in the soup it's a weird thing to say I'm not gonna do that so instead I'm gonna be baking it it's a little bit less weird to have baked chicken breast on the side instead of in the soup which I'm now going to puree <laughs> we have it folks black bean soup made from scratch i think that's gonna be it for me today i think i'm just gonna make this chicken breast and uh finish my laundry but i got a lot done today i think tomorrow i'm gonna go get a b12 shot and then follow up with my doctor next week because i feel like shit all the time